when we said before about borrowing from Pixar and bringing it over to advocacy or lawyering Ms. Hoffman, now we can rewrite this paragraph. Read it for us. Advocacy has to start somewhere, and we are true believers in the power of bracing candid feedback and the iterative process, reworking, reworking, and reworking again until a flawed brief finds its through line or a hollow argument finds its soul. And so what Pixar does to institutionalize this idea of the extra ear is to create something called the brain trust. So Mr. Smith, Catmull explains what the brain trust is. There's sort of two key principles of the brain trust. You want to read the first one? The first is that the brain trust is made up of people with a deep understanding of storytelling who usually have been through the process themselves. While the directors welcome critiques from many sources, they particularly prize feedback from fellow storytellers. So why do you think that is? Why do you think they actually really welcome the feedback from other directors of movies? And now mind you, well, actually, actually answer that question. Uh, I, I think there's like an added element of trust when you it's someone that you know has produced good work. You, you trust the feedback that they give you is going to help you produce good work. Yeah, that they've been in there before. Maybe they figured out a certain trick to get around an obstacle, but also there's just the sense of they know how hard it is, right? There's a way that that feedback is much more valuable. So here's the second real important principle of their brain trust. The second difference is that the brain trust has no authority. The director does not have to follow any of the specific suggestions. After a brain trust meeting, it's up to him or her to figure out how to address the feedback. And so they say this is really important too. It's not that these are studio executives. That It's not that the brain trust is made up of anybody who can kill or fund the movie. Why is that really important, to have the brain trust be made up of independent folks? It gives you complete control still over the editing process, but it, you are able to make like knowledgeable decisions based on, based on that information. Yeah, and that's going to be real key as you go through law school and into practice. Of you, can, you should not just automatically defer to whatever feedback you're getting. You have to just recognize that I made a choice. It affected this reader in this certain way. Do I want to make that change? But what's really great about their system is the sense of here's just what I think would be a helpful thing, but you are not coerced at all to find it. It's up to you to figure out what that is. 